originally were working on a, uh, a story about um, the first assaulters into Tora Bora, which is the Hindu Kush mountain range in Afghanistan, where um, Osama bin Laden presumably was hiding. And that was in, on December 6th of 2001. Actually, Mark had been almost two-thirds of the way through the screenplay. I was already casting. I was uh, doing some auditions. And we had a, a scout in Kazakhstan to replicate Afghanistan. And Mark and I were on our way to Kabul. And then uh, from Kabul to Bagram, from Bagram to Jalalabad. And then we're going to fly over the Khyber Pass to look for locations when, um, anyway, so then May 1st happened, 2011, and we realized that a film about the failure to capture Osama bin Laden <laughs> was going to be a little bit difficult um, when, of course, the entire world knew he was dead. So, but we didn't pivot immediately. You know, it was definitely a lot of soul searching and uh, a lot of conversation, and, and then, um, you know, and then we decided to make a move to the story of the intelligence hunt for Osama bin Laden. It was also, I think, uh, extraordinary to both of us that um, uh, that a woman was so central, uh, or women were so central to this to this effort. And maybe that's just because I grew up reading too many James Bond novels or something. You know, I read a lot of books, and there's a lot of great books out there. I worked off a Marx script, and I used him, you know, as much as I could to get the facts that I needed, and then. You know, you read some therapy books to understand psychology and working with another person in a room. And you film in Jordan. You know, you go to the bathhouses, you hang out in the local places, meet the local people and put your ear to the ground and try and absorb as much as you can. You, you want to hold the audience, uh, you know, in your hand, but keep them wanting more and, and uh, not... It's, it's hard, it's super hard, actually, with a film where everybody knows what's going to happen, but I think built into the script was a, was, a, was a really interesting, challenging, but also interesting and rewarding structure in that we had sort of the overall story and drama of um, finding this person and the, and the kind of global, uh, larger implications of that. There was some ABC footage um, taken in, in the bedroom of um, Osama bin Laden's bedroom after he had been killed. And, in all the details, I mean, Jeremy matched the tile of the floor and the rug and the bed frame. Because we flew real Blackhawks, 50 feet so over the top. Helicopters had to with be Catherine, able to. everybody else was in it except me. <laughs> there, everyone was in this compound, and it's all real. This is there's, it's solid stone, steel, nine feet underground. It took uh, we built it in 10 weeks. It's 400 feet long. It's just a monster. It's like a, it was it was spectacular, and it's all real, real tile. The lights turn on. Everything works about this place. It's like, you could, I, when I walked in, I was, I was actually really, it was eerie when it was dressed and done and we were just ready to shoot. And it really was, we grew all the vegetation around and we planted it once in advance. You know, obviously we had to truck in all the water and irrigate it every day. And, and we built in the middle of nowhere. We built two, two miles from the Dead Sea. Of that sort of small and, and really personal view and the, and the wider, bigger view, um, enabled Billy and myself to, you know, as Mark did well in the script, and we tried to help whenever we could is go back and forth between that, and that, that really helps um, your shifting perspective so that you get uh, a, a sort of contrast built up, and that helps with tension, certainly. You're aware that people are going to bring politics to, to it, and that in some sense it's going to be a Rorschach. There were, um, you know, very... Uh, uh, outspoken critics of the film characterizing the film before I'd even written a word. So it, it, it was like from day one we knew it was people, it was going to become a political chew toy in one way or another and particularly this content, um, you know, the, the interrogation um, debate which is ongoing and, and obviously highly controversial. I mean you have, you have 15 minutes in the film where you're, you know, trying to encapsulate a massively um, explosive issue and and you're trying to show the the complexity of that issue and also move the story along and show the you know that in some cases the there's this harsh treatment and then um, where does the information come from does it come from the harsh treatment or does it come from this very civilized lunch that they have after sleep deprivation is it is it the hummus or is it the waterboarding and uh, you know um, 
in, in, entire committees talk about this stuff. Um, at, uh, there's there's a committee that that uh, the Democrats convene. There's like a six thousand page report on that on that very question. So you're aware that <laughs> no matter what you do, it's going to get politicized. But you hope that at the end of the day, people see it as a film, and and um, and 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 see that we're not trying to to score a point in that debate so much as try to hopefully capture the essence of, of what went down.